everyone, I'm Baby, and today I'm going to go over my top 10 favorite baby Pokemon. Now, baby Pokemon are pre-evolutions of Pokemon that can't breed, and you can only, well, not only, but mostly, only get them for breeding. And, you know, to be honest with you, I kind of include every first stage Pokemon as a baby Pokemon because it just makes sense to me. But, I know that a lot of you will be... Very annoyed if I included every Pokemon that I just counted as a baby Pokemon instead of actual ones. So in this list, I'm only going over actual baby Pokemon. But hey, maybe in the f maybe if you're interested in the future, I'll make um a top ten Pokemon that should be baby Pokemon. Let me know if you're interested in that in the comments. But anyway, let's go on with today's video. Number ten is Chingling. Now, I know Jingling's not the most memorable Pokemon ever, but I do find it quite cute. A little, little living bell with hairs that look like ribbons. Is it hair? I don't know. Anyway, it only appeared in two episodes of the anime, so I don't really remember it that much. But I did, I did rewatch the episodes it was in, and yeah, it was okay in the anime. Not the most annoying Pokemon, which is good. Because, you know, a lot of the Pokemon are the most annoying characters, let's face it. And, um, I did, um, I, there was a time, actually, I remember this. Forgot about this. Well, I'm surprised I haven't said this before. I used, um, I played Oras, but I only used baby Pokemon, and I used Chingling a lot. I obviously evolved them, I didn't just use the babies. And it was really fun, actually, I like doing that. I don't know why I haven't done that, like, again. Maybe I will. Maybe I will, actually, I might. I don't really want to reset any of my games, though, so I'll, I'll need to think about that. And I also like how it has a little ball in its mouth, because, you know, obviously it's a bell, but it literally has, like, like no purpose. Like, is it its tongue? Is it its heart? Like, what is it? I know you're a bell chingling, but come on. Well, that's basically all I have to say. Number nine is Hapini. Okay, Jingling may have not been in the anime much, but Hapini, that's a completely different story, because the one in the anime that Brock owned was adorable. It was such a great addition to their cast. And the fact that it drew strength, so it was stronger than literally everyone, was so hilarious. I kind of wish it didn't evolve at the end, but at the same time it also makes sense, since Brock's dream is to become a Pokemon doctor. I know I, he's a, I know it's Pokemon Breeder, but if you haven't seen Diamond and Pearl, Watch the last episode of Diamond and Pearl, then you'll know. Um, because Brock Sapini was the, literally the best, well, not the best character, but one of the best characters. Probably number three, just behind, um, Don and Piplup. Sorry, but they were just amazing. I loved them. Not in a weird way, obviously. Um, and I also like, um, Hapini's little hair it has going on. Like, well, I don't know why any of them have hair, because it's not hair, but it looks like hair. It's strange to me, but I just, I just love everything about it. Even how it carries a little stone in its pouch and pretends it's an egg. That's really adorable. And I did use one when I played with the baby Pokemon, and if I ever do that again, I'll probably use it on my team because it's just too cute. Great, it's Cliffa. Now, I don't really remember Cliffa from the anime. I know it was in one episode, but I don't know if it was in any others, but you can all tell me. Um... I love, I think Cliff is adorable, even though it looks very similar to Jigglypuff. Must say, Game Freak, you need to think of more designs. And it also, look, but also looks like a little shooting star. Pew. And I think its shiny form's kind of funny because the only thing it changes is its little ears. <laughs> and I, even though it's, again, copying Jigglypuff, but I like the little curl it has on its forehead. It's really nice. Um, I also like its little tail, I guess. And its hands, well, a lot of pink Pokemon hands look like, um, something I am not wanting to say, but I'm sure you can <laughs> get it. Um, I also, um, I also like how it evolves through happiness. I know a lot of baby Pokemon do, but, like, it's much, that's my favorite evolving method. Even though it takes a while, but it just makes sense, because the Pokemon only evolve if they're really happy with their trainers, and that's just so cute. I really love that. But, that's basically everything I have to say about Cliffa. Well, I guess its name. It's not really that creative, because it's just Cliffa, Clefairy, and Clefable. Like, come on, Game Freak. <laughs> Number seven is Badu. Now, Badu is 
cute, like all the baby Pokemon. I'm sorry. And I also liked it in the anime because his little voice was so sweet. I also like how it's like bald things, like are its hands are like, you know, like this basically. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I guess it looks like a baby Carol. And it's wearing a bib as well. That's adorable. Uh, also, a lot of people don't notice this, but the bib actually changes color when it's shiny. It's purple. I thought that was a nice little detail. Also, I don't really get how, why it's, like, I know I just said this, but like, are the little things arms? I'm looking at a picture of it right now. Like, are they arms or are they just a ball? Like, <laughs> what is with this Pokemon? Um, but I also, um, well, I hunted a shiny Roselia, as you all know. I didn't use the Rosen since, because it's harder to spot the shiny Badoo. But maybe I'll get a shiny Badoo as well, if I ever do the shiny Living Dex, which I probably won't do, because that will take forever. Because 809 Pokemon, that's just a lot. I know I can't hunt the Mythicals, but still. <laughs> um, I also like its little yellow face. It, like, it just makes me happy. All the baby Pokemon make me happy. And that's basically what they're supposed to do as well, since most of them evolve for happiness. Number 6 is Igglybuff. Now, with Jigglypuff being one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, you can kind of expect Igglybuff to be on the top 10 baby Pokemon. Now, I don't think Igglybuff is as cute as Jigglypuff. If anything, I think it's quite ugly compared to Jigglypuff. If it had blue eyes, then it would have been adorable. But, I do think it's cute still. And the fact it has like the little bumps and a squiggle on its head, and then, <laughs> I guess you could say the little bumps become the ears, and then, you know, obviously the curl on Jigglypuff. But, that's base. that's like, mm. I also, um, remember it in the anime, but it wasn't like the main one in that episode I watched. It was the same episode that Cliffa was in. Like, there was a lot of baby Pokemon in that episode. So the one when, like, they're on the ship and the baby Pokemon get poisoned. Because, you know, why wouldn't they? And Igglybuff was cute in that episode, but they were all cute in that episode because it was all baby Pokemon. And Teddy or stuff. Because, you know, that isn't a baby Pokemon for whatever reason. But, I also, um, think, think it's shiny form's funny, because it barely changes at all, and I actually did hunt for one before, but I didn't find it, but I, I probably did find it, I didn't know, who knows? Actually, I wonder if I did actually, well, we'll never know. But, um, I also like it, um, <laughs> little uh, animation it does when it's floating in the air. Because the only one in its evolution line that floats in the air, like, why? Game Freak, you need to sort this Pokemon out. You need to sort all your Pokemon out. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, by the way. Igglybuff is perfect the way it is. Number 5 is Why Not. Now, Why Not is very adorable. And why wouldn't I like it? Because it's, <laughs> it's even funny in the anime. Um, I really like it in the anime because, you know, it just has so much personality. Like, you can't hate that thing. It has more personality than Wobbuffet, and Wobbuffet has a lot of personality. So, why not? <laughs> um, I also like its shiny form. I know that sounds weird, and I, can't, I, did, I know, but I just want its shiny form. Um, also, the theory that why not is actually an unknown, but it's protecting itself with the fake blue decoy. I believe that theory. It's definitely true. I mean, it's probably not, but who knows. Um... I also use, I used Why Not in my baby thing, because you get a free Why Not egg in RS anyway, so I didn't even need to transfer it like I did with the other baby Pokemon. But, I just, I love it so much, okay? But one thing I really find creepy is, it, the little thing on its head looks like a head. Like, it looks like a dead head, and then its face is on its torso. Like, that looks so horrible. Like, the face is cute, but that just looks disturbing to me. I actually talked about why not more than I did with any of the other baby Pokemon. That's really weird. I guess that shows how much I actually do love why not. Number four is Mime Jr. Mime Jr. is freaking cute. And the one in Team Rocket, like, that was amazing, okay? Actually, the anime did quite a good job with the baby Pokemon showing their personalities, actually. And Mime Jr. was no exception. The fact that he used to always mimic, like, Wobbuffet or Meowth, that was adorable. And how I used to, like, use Mimic on, like, Ash and, and Pikachu and even in, um, when it did contests with Jessie, it was just so adorable. <laughs> I just can't believe how cute it was. 
Um, one complaint I do have about it though, it evolves into Mr. Mime. Game Freak. Naughty Naughty. And, I also, um, I encountered a horde of them once in X and Y, and I just couldn't, and it was so fun, because they kept using Mimic, and it was <laughs> the cutest thing ever. I just, oh, it's so cute, and I want one in real life, as long as it doesn't evolve. If it evolves, I would disown it and kill it. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit dark there. Number three is Azeril. Azeril, you guessed it, is adorable. Uh, the one in the anime, it was in Pokemon Chronicles, so you probably haven't seen it, was so cute how, because Meowth was trying to hit on a skitty, um, <laughs> and... The yeah, Azrael kept messing up with Meowth's plans. <laughs> it was so funny. Because <laughs> it kept getting away and then Skitty kept slapping Meowth in the face and <laughs> pushing him off the balcony <laughs> that she was lying on. I'm saying she because obviously it was a girl. But, and then again, Meowth didn't know that Purloin was a boy. So Meowth could could have been wrong again. But I'm just going to pretend Skitty was a girl. And like that was hilarious. That Azrael was hilarious. And I... <laughs> <laughs> it was just the best, it was the, like, not the best Pokemon ever, but like, it was like, they had the best personality out in, like, with all the Pokemon in Pokemon Chronicles. Even Ash's Pikachu, which is very strange, because it's Ash's Pikachu. The Pokemon that's appeared in every episode, except for Pokemon Chronicles. I'm sorry. And I also had an Azeroth toy when I was little, which I don't have anymore, because I left all my, well, not left, lost all my good Pokemon stuff. I don't know where they are, but I got a bunch of new stuff, obviously. But, um, I got another Azrael toy, but it's very small. Um, I'll show you it another time when, ooh, I just had an idea for a video. Cool. Thanks, Azrael, for giving me ideas. <laughs> Number two is Pichu. Okay, Pichu has to be on the list. Come on. I have a Pichu plushie, actually. It's right behind me. Isn't that adorable? This is the cutest thing ever. I'm just kidding. You are cute, Pichu, but you're not the cutest thing ever. This one has a suction cup, so, um... <laughs> I can do this. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Sorry. You okay? Oh, no, you're crying! I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Anyway, Pichu is the first baby Pokemon in the National decks, which, for obvious reasons. Um, and it's also one of the cutest baby Pokemon ever. The second cutest. You'll see who the first is. I also think, um, it was a great idea giving Pikachu a baby form, because, you know, obviously they give Pikachu a baby form, because Pikachu gets all the special attention in every generation, which is why we get all the Pikachu clones. But, I think, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I think Pikachu makes more sense, because it's an actual pre-evolution, so it's not a Pikachu clone, and don't say Meryl is either, because it clearly isn't. And, I just love Pikachu so much. I mean, the only thing I don't like about it is its little tail. It's just, the at least Pikachu's tail is a thunderbolt, and Raichu's tail is spiky. Like, why you do this to me, Pikachu? Why? I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna yell at this precious baby. My number one favorite baby Pokemon is Togepi, of course. So why wouldn't it be Togepi? It was the first baby Pokemon we ever saw, especially me. Um. And it was so adorable in the anime. Like, it was the cutest Pokemon in the anime, in my opinion. Had the cutest personality. It, everyone loved it. And if you hate Togepi, I will hunt you down and kill you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I just love it. it. It's like a little... It's just a little egg, like, cracking. And Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, like, I'm so, uh, this is real, by the way. I'm not faking this. <laughs> like, the, it actually makes me smile how, how cute it is. And... I, I remember watching the anime when I was three, <laughs> and thinking Togepi was adorable. I always thought it was, you know, Pikachu's little sister, I guess. I assumed it's a female, don't judge me. Like, not Togepi in general, the one, Misty's Togepi. Plus, it says female on the thing. <laughs> Actually, I just remembered that. Um, and I love seeing it all the time because it was the cutest, like, just the cutest Pokemon in the whole anime back then. Right now, it was Rockruff, but, you know, he's gone now as well. They're taking away all the cuteness! But, anyway, please, don't judge me for loving Togepi so much, because I just love Togepi so much. Like, I just do, okay? 
No one will ever change my mind about it. Well, that was my top 10 favorite baby Pokemon. Sorry it wasn't the most exciting video. Well, let me know who your favorite baby Pokemon are. And remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I'm BB, and I'll see you next time. Bye!